This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Rick Garcia. A man was found shot to death inside a car in Lincoln Heights. The car was marked with an Uber sticker, but detectives are still trying to determine if the man was working for the ride-sharing service. Four people have been taken into custody. SoCal Gas has agreed to extend the amount of time people from Porter Ranch have to move back home once the leak is capped. A new agreement gives them up to eight days instead of 48 hours. Today we're expecting an update on the leak from health officials. A suspected killer will be brought back to L.A. after he was accidentally released from jail 11 days ago. Stephen Wright was captured outside of Las Vegas yesterday. A canopy at a gas station in Torrance collapsed on two cars yesterday. Two workers were on the roof checking out cracks when it came crashing down. One of them was slightly hurt. The owner of the car that was crushed happened to be inside the convenience store. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Hello, everybody. I'm CBS2 Chief Meteorologist Josh Rubenstein. Let's talk a little bit of weather here. We've got temperatures getting into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. It's going to be hot, sunny, <laughs> dry out there, too. 84 degrees for tomorrow, 81 on Thursday. Now, as we make our way into Friday and Saturday, our temperatures cool down a little bit more. It's going to be about 76 degrees on Saturday. That's where we bottom out, but then we're going to start warming up again. Right now, no rain in sight, and that 88 that we get for today could be a record breaker downtown. That's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click listen live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are.